So YouTube did this thing. There's a feature called Instant Premiere. So when you're uploading a video, you can pick between different options like Publish Now or Schedule for Later or Instant Premiere. And it's not a new feature. It's been around for a few months at least because I noticed it a while back and I thought, oh, that sounds kind of cool. Like you could like premiere a video or a big project and then everybody can watch it together. I always just chickened out of trying it though because I never really had a good reason to until I published the uh, update video talking about how we were switching away from uh, sketch content and moving over to D&D content. I thought, yeah, what the hell, may as well give it a shot. And I clicked Instant Premiere and it did this whole countdown thing and then it had a chat window and I was like, oh, okay, cool. So it's basically just like a live stream. So I thought, well, neat. Maybe there's something I can use this for later on. Maybe not with every video, but we have like full length gameplay sessions coming up and most people live stream those, but we chose not to because live streaming is a nightmare. So I thought, well, hey, I can put those up under Instant Premiere and that'll feel like a live stream and people can enjoy it like it's a live broadcast and still kind of experience it at the same time in the moment. And then it will just go up as a regular video afterwards. No harm done. Anyway, on Monday, we put up a gameplay video with Instant Premiere, and that's not what happened. It does mostly just feel like a live stream when you're watching it, but the key difference is that when we have live streamed in the past, people are like watching the live stream and it counts all of those people as they tune in, and then when it gets uploaded as just a regular video afterwards, all those live viewings turn into actual views, and so the number stays the same as if we had just uploaded a video. The new Premiere feature, though, has this really interesting idea of not doing that. So instead, your video will run for like two hours during the Premiere, people will watch it, then it will convert to a regular video, but it won't have any views because it wasn't published for those two hours, and now it's still two hours old, so now as far as the YouTube algorithm is concerned, it didn't get views for two hours. So then YouTube looks at this situation that it created and it goes, hey, your video isn't doing so hot. Oh, I mean, yeah, but it was technically being watched for two hours, so maybe we can count some of that? And it's like, nah, your video is underperforming. This is the, uh, we're gonna stop promoting this. And I'm like, okay, but I used, I used your thing. This was your, you made this thing. It actually didn't have zero views afterwards either. It had like 540 or something, which actually makes less sense because I don't know what it was counting. 540 views in two hours is very, very low for our standard. So YouTube looks at that and goes, you drastically underperformed. And then it stops pushing the video to other people because it's not doing well. It doesn't have comments or likes or any community interaction with it. So people stop seeing it. And the people who did see it when it was displayed as this thing is premiering probably weren't all able to watch it. And so they're like, well, I guess I'll check that later. But then they never get re-reminded of it. I don't know why that feature exists. I'm never gonna use it again. It's just YouTube shooting themselves in the foot because now they're not getting the views off of the video either. They're not getting the ad revenue. So yeah, YouTube Premiere is terrible. And also this is a very long-winded way of saying, please go watch Altered Egos. We uploaded it on Monday, but you very well may not have seen it because YouTube just, just didn't show people. Altered Egos was a Pathfinder campaign that we played back in 2017 during like three or four different live streams. And people have been asking us to bring it back for a long time. So now that we're doing D&D stuff, we brought it back. And it's uh, the first episode of the new arc is now up on the channel. And I will link that in the description. And it's also on Spotify right now if you just want to listen to it. That's pretty much it. I just wanted to complain So I made a video about it. Also, we are going to be actually live streaming tonight uh, at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time uh, for Valentine's Day. So if you don't have anything else to do like us, uh, you can come and hang out with us while we play some weird dating sims that Ricky found on Steam. And as long as I have you here, I haven't actually gotten to mention this yet in any of the videos that we've put up, but we our new shirt is out. We have an I Denounce You t-shirt uh, with Joey's Suleiman face on it. And, uh, I denounce you across it and it's on DFTBA and you can pre-order it and it's actually been available for a while so they're gonna ship in like a week. So yeah, links to all those things are in the description and YouTube Premiere is terrible and I'm, I won't use it again. And uh, go watch Altered Egos. And then that's, that's pretty much it. That was the whole point of this video. <laughs> we'll see you later tonight for the live stream. Bye.